Brandy and Galston, this is a rough layout of the conception. It is a multi-level dive boat with enough beds for up to 46 people. The crew, however, sleeps on the upper deck, explaining why they were able to escape. We didn't have to go far to speak with the diving community here. Case Harry three anchor Edie Lambert has actually been on the conception going back decades. And Case Harry three director Doug Holdren has been diving in California for close to 30 years. Both explain the conception is a highly respected dive boat among the scuba community. The boat was chartered by Worldwide Diving Adventures. This is the company's website posting that Labor Day weekend trip in the Channel Islands. Their website detailed the Labor Day weekend trip starting Saturday morning with a scheduled return of 5 p.m. tonight. It appears to be a family run company with a connection to Yolo County, but they were not available for comment. Doug explains, however, flammable equipment on dive boats include propane for cooking, electrical wires and diesel fuel, but he emphasized is the scuba tanks are not flammable. The scuba tanks don't catch fire and explode. Uh, they're filled with air. They're not oxygen tanks. They're air tanks. 73% uh, nitrogen, 24% oxygen, and the rest of it is inert gas. So um, for them to explode and catch fire is not going to happen. Every time I was out on the conception, I was out with an experienced group of divers. And it didn't matter if we had heard the safety briefing a hundred times, we were going to hear it again for a hundred and first time. They did everything by the book. I felt very safe on the conception. And they were just so cautious and thoughtful and conscientious about following all of those rules. So it was an extreme shock to hear about what happened today. Now, as far as fire safety violations, the consumption was in compliance this year, but records show that in 2016, the owners replaced a heating detector and in 2014 cited a leaky fire hose. But records show all safety violations within the past five years were quickly addressed. We also spoke with another local diver who has been on the conception multiple times. He says there actually isn't a door at the staircase that's right here on the up or the bottom, so passengers really can freely walk up and down. He also adds there was a two by two emergency hatch in the sleeping quarters. It's unclear why either were not used. He did say the sleeping area, however, was a bit claustrophobic. Not much room to move around. Brandy.